Hi guys, welcome to Milestone 3, the third week of our class. Before I get started talking about the tasks that we have ahead of us for the week, I did want to say that although I have not yet started grading your submissions for week 2, I have noticed during the past week as I have been reviewing your work that many of you are still not reading the instructions completely. Um, again, when I talked about ways not to lose points, this is the primary way that you can avoid losing points on assignments. So, make sure that for every task, you are reading the task instructions fully, reading the rubric to see how the points are broken down and exactly what you're scored on, and also watching any videos or comments that I post that are meant to help you along with those tasks. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me by leaving me a message in the classroom, by shooting me an email, or by contacting me on my phone. You can text me or you can give me a call. I will add right now, I did accidentally leave my phone at my parents' house yesterday during the Easter holiday, and I won't have it probably for another day or two because I need to drive back to their house and get it, and they live about 50 miles away. So it's a separate trek that I have to make. In the meantime, maybe just leave me messages in the class, and I'll answer them as I see them come through. Um, but I will find a way to help you if you need that assistance. So let's talk about Milestone 3. The first task you have to do this week is, again, like you did last week, to select a story from Gutenberg, a short story, mind you. Don't select novels or any other type or genre of writing. Read a short story, and then I need you to discuss in an analysis um, what was contained in that story. Sorry, my cat decided to come visit. So um, you firstly want to look at the different um, elements of craft that we've discussed thus far. So those are things like consistent point of view, um, characterization, description, but we're also this week going to talk about how prose and dialogue are incorporated into stories. So you do need to make sure you're finding stories that contain some dialogue. Um, you'll notice that when stories contain dialogue, they tend to kind of move between sections of dialogue and sections of prose. So in other words, just the writing with no conversation back and forth. Those things can provide insight into the characters' minds. They can provide backstories, descriptions, setting, etc., etc., etc. So look at the way your chosen author moves between prose and dialogue and make some observations about that and draw some conclusions based upon what you see. Um, the next thing I need you to do for task two is to please. Um, Submit your first story draft. Now, don't freak out. This is just a snippet. It doesn't have to be the entire story draft. Um, basically, you're going to do very similar to what you're being asked to do in task one, except this is your own writing. So I need to see your story that evidences those plot elements, so things like characterization, consistent point of view, and description. And you need to have examples of prose and examples of dialogue. So all those things happening. All right. If you have any questions about what is expected of you this week, Feel free to shoot me a message like I stated earlier, and just know I'm here to help you. So have a great week, and I will see you in the classroom.